Hey guys, welcome back to Just Car Rob. And what are we doing today, Rob? Well, we got this piece of uh, wood. Jory sent it. Um, I don't know what kind of wood it is. He said he thinks it's uh, sugar pine, so could be sugar pine. Hey man, get out of the picture. So sorry, so sorry. Okay, so uh, what have I done? I took it to the bandsaw. It was like nine inches long in length, but there's a big knot almost dead in the middle of it. So I took it to the bandsaw. I cut it off. Um, before I even did that, though, I took my knife. And I started cutting it. Okay, see I cut all the corners? Now, this piece of wood does not like to be carved down. See how it's biting in there? It doesn't like to be carved down. <laughs> so I put the side that was going to be back. Because this side, it's kind of like, it does care, but it doesn't care what, that you're cutting it in the down. But there it does, there it don't. You know, so it's gonna, it's a weird, it's going to be a weird thing. So, um, before I even started carving on this piece, see the weird grain? And that's like a swirly swirly here. Um, I took the knife and to, to see which way the knife bites. And going down, it, it just wants to rip. See? See that? Just wants to dig in and rip it off. So that means we're cutting against the straws. So we want to keep going up. Like that. Okay, then I decided what I... I figured I was going to make some kind of human thing. <laughs> so I took it to the bandsaw. And this is four and a half inches. I was going to put the face at two inches here. But then I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. I just did that with uh, this guy. His face is almost half the size of his body. So, um, it looks like my saw cuts a little bit off. Looks like we gotta clean this up a little bit. And of course, nope, it don't want to cut going down. Up. Coming down on it, you gotta go up. Which is okay, because we gotta clean up these bandsaw marks anyway. This is a two and a half inch OCC rough out knife. Yeah, it's looking a little bit better. Okay, so, we gotta knock this front end off here. And see, it, don't, it just does not, does not at all want to cut that way with knife. Actually, it's putting micro chips in my blade because I can feel them with my fingernail. So I want to take this down because you got to figure this is going to be his belly. Probably should be using a when you got finicky, finicky grain like this. Um, I usually just go right to the power tools and get that all shaped down or flattened out a little bit. His face is actually, you know, his chin is right there. So his face is almost even with his feet and the feet. Um, the way I carve is usually almost the furthest thing away. Because I don't usually cut my feet back that much. On him I did, I cut him back a little bit. So, yeah. Okay, you can see how far his nose is leaning back there and all that stuff. Okay. So we can go ahead and push this face back more. And that's what's good about the center line. Alright, we're going to make that center line nice and dark there. So we know as we push this back we can keep the planes fairly even, right? And this is on a 45 degree angle. So, if anything, you want to be a little flatter so you can bring it down later. Uh, but make sure you don't go too steep. Like this. You want to either be a little flatter, you know, or at the 45 degree. Otherwise, uh, if you get in there too steep, your face will get real skinny real quick. So, when I laid this block out, I laid it out like this. And I got to remember this point, this point, this point, we're all the same. So, I did a split it in half that way, split it in half that way, and then I did the, the, half, the half and a half. So what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, an eighth. So that'd be an eighth. Okay. And then I bought these sides in. Boom, boom, boom. Right down to that line there. And that's what it came out looking like on the side. Okay. Then I cut the sides down because I wanted some shoulders. And now here we are. I'm basically erasing my center line. I'm bringing the face right down to that center line. At that 45 degree angle. And I'm just going to work back and forth. I, I know I can't go this way. Nope, see it? Just chip that right off there. So I'm going to have to go this way. Okay. And that gives me a little bit of clearance there. Gives me some clearance, Clarence! On a... So I can get back up in here like this. Peel that off. I'll tell you the best way I think to do this would be with a belt sander. You can take it and bring it down as low as you want it. And not have any worries about it. Boy, this, for being a member of the pine family, it's got good, it's got really tight grain. I mean, them little grain lines are super tight together. So you don't, you're not running into the problems like with normal pine with the bigger rings. You get soft spots and hard spots. And this is pretty even. I'm looking at this grain right now, it's pretty, it is super duper tight. Super tight. All right, that's enough of that monkey business with knife. Let's get to the power tools. More power. Arr, 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 arr. 
And we've got the straight burr from Sabretooth. Undercutting the neck. Getting it shaped in there. And we're just going to work that chin back. I'm thinking I want something with a little more bite to it. So we've got the Sabretooth Green Course. Flame burr. Yep. And cut, trying to cut that uh, shoulder back and stuff with it. And now we're back to the saber tooth yellow. We're gonna do some round. We're gonna round the back over a little bit and get that head shaped in. We we'll give a shout out to Random Axe of Carving. The guy's uh, got a lot of talent. He's, uh, I think he's based out of Florida. He's, uh, he just did a little stick, uh, Albert Einstein's face. And then he did the, uh, he did a cowboy with big buggy eyeballs. That's really neat. So go over and check out Random Acts of Carving. And, uh, give him a like and, uh, maybe subscribe if you like what he does. If you like what we do here, you'll like what he does. Say hi to Jordy Johnson over at Carving Fusion, Bennett Studio on the Lake, and Sticks and Stones, Kevin. Sean Brooks over at Pen on Fire. Ben over at Studio on the Lake. All those crazy guys. And we're, uh, yeah, we're still shaping the head with that straight fine saber tooth burr we're uh, getting them cheeks worked in narrowing up that face otherwise you have a great big uh, round head round face which is okay if that's what you want to do I'm still kind of undecided what I'm doing here yep I want to bring, bring, kind of bring the temples of the forehead in. That's what we're doing. And now we're going to straighten out the back of his head a little bit. Because it was on a pretty uh, hard angle there. And now you can see he's like a little bald baby head. You get that chin rounded over. See that pencil mark? Right there on the top, that means we have not hit that head yet. So now we're using the, uh, we're going ahead and we're going to start placing the arms in. We're going to mark the real estate where we're going to have the arms. We're going in deep with that uh, cut saw straight burr. Just kind of using it like a pencil and sketching those where those arms are going to be in. Get them cut down there. It has been hot here. Hot and humid. All right. So what are we doing? What are we putting in now? We have got the cuts all or no, sorry. Sabretooth green coarse ball or sphere, whatever you want to call it. Round thing. And uh yep, we're going to cut that. We're using that for mass wood removal. That's what we're using that for. Get rid of some of this uh, overburden wood here. Say hi to Paul over at Wood Psych. Oh man, I missed the opportunity there. See, I could have put a, a like a a neckerchief on him, but I didn't. I erased it. Well, I guess I still could. Can always still can. Speed it up, Rob. Speed it up. You're taking too long. All right. So this will be part one of carving a little old dude. And I guess if I make him skinnier, I could give him a neckerchief. Yeah, maybe I'd do that. We're going to bring these legs and uh, body way down. They're way too big yet. We're going to dig in there and get bring that back down. Got a lot of wood to take off there. Said enough of that. We got the Cuts All Extreme Flame Burr going here. 
for uh, NR Dremel 4000. And we just, we just want to get rid of some bulk wood here. So that's what we're doing. Um, I don't think we're going to do too much with the body in this video. I think we're going to just basically uh, get things shaped and get the head all shaped in. And we'll probably roughly get the head done in this video. And then the next video, we'll work on body mods. What we can do to make the body a little bit, take it out of our comfort zone. You know, the little block, little uh, block body that we usually do. You know, it's not all that fancy. I think we're going to try up in our up in our uh, game here a little bit on this for the for the next video on the body and we're uh, using that flame burr. It's got the right shape to make your eye holes. I'm not going too deep with it because uh, I like leaving a bit of real estate there so when I go to do my eyes, I've got room to uh, put the eye mounds in. Remember, you can always take it off, but you can't put it back. Or it's, it's difficult to put back. Let's put it that way. And you can see I moved the eyes down a little bit to give us some more room for the forehead and the hair. I think we're going to put hair on this guy. Still bringing those cheeks in. And undercutting that neck. I wanted his uh, jawline to be out there a little bit. Yep, okay. And I'm already seeing uh, what I'm going to do for the hair here. In my mind's eye, it's, it's screaming at me. This video, this uh, actually carving I've been working on for like three weeks now. Uh, on and off, on and off. I can only spend so much time in the carving chair. Then our back starts locking up and our, I get to where I can't move my head because uh, it's like the titanium plates in my neck are yelling for grease or something. I can't, you know, from from looking down at the while you're carving, my neck locks right up. can't even turn my head afterwards. So I, I guess I do what I can do, right? That's all you can do. The struggle's real. Do what you can do, guys. You know, don't push yourself to uh, push your art. But if your body's breaking down on you, just do what you can do and then do what I do. Go lay down. <laughs> and we're cutting the arms in there. He's got kind of some long arms, don't he? But that's okay. We can always make the arms shorter. Because we still got to give them hands and all that good stuff like that. And we got to take that butt down a lot. See, he's got a big backside going there. I think we're going we're gonna to try making a... I think when we do his body, we're going to put some uh, upgrades on him. And make him a little skinnier. We're going to make him a skinny guy. A skinny old guy. Instead of like normally we got fat old guys. Because that's all I got for an example. Is me. Fat old guy. Uh, okay. So now we got the diamond burr. Flame diamond burr. Love these flame diamond burrs. If you don't got one, get one. Uh, most You'll see most of the, the tooling I use. Is always got some kind of flame. Right, the flame diamond burr, the flame cut saw, the invert, the uh, a lot elongated flame from saber tooth, flame diamond burrs. Um, it's they're great because they got the uh, okay. Now we've got a carbide drill bit from Harbor Freight. These things are super sharp and super easy to break. But uh, if you, like I'm using it for undercutting, 
on these little eyes to make them stand out a little bit better, give them a little bit of shadow. Uh, you just have to be really, really careful with them because they will break if the wind blows while you're using them. They are very brittle. Well, they're solid carbide and very thin. Okay, so time for the brass brush. Put that away and we'll move on to our next burr, which is back to our diamond burr. See, I told you, we use that diamond plain burr a lot. And you can get these on Amazon. And we're uh, basically separating the ears from the head, cutting a little groove around the backside because it was like one thick block. So that's what I'm doing there. And now we're going to do a little undercut there. We're going to put the, uh, the jawline in up to the ear. That's what we're doing there. Putting his jawline in. Basically separating the jaw from the back of his head. And cleaning up under that nose. And smoothing the nose off. We're, we're taking the flatness off the bottom of the nose. Right there. Now we're shaping the nose. And we're putting the, the snostrils in. The breather holes. There we go. We're picking his nose with a flame burr. Yeah. Okay. Smooth it out a little bit more up top there. And we're rounding over the barrel of the mouth. All right. So now we have a carbide 332nd flame burr here. And we're going to draw in the laugh line, smile lines, whatever you want to call them. And we're using that flame burr to cut the... Uh, wings of the nostrils in. Is that what we're going to call them? That's what we're going to call them. Wings of the nostrils in right there. Like that. Yep. And you can see we got the little little the snot hole flares going on there. Okay. And now we're cutting these laugh lines and smile lines. And we're working on the barrel of the mouth, constantly rounding that barrel of the mouth over to get a nice uh, arch in there. If you got a mustache or something, it's not that critical. But if you got a, a smooth face like this guy's got, well, a smooth wrinkly face like a, this guy's got, uh, you want to get that get that barrel pronounced. You cut, like I said, you can take it back. If you think it's sticking out too far, you can always take it back. But you'll know right away if it's too flat. When you look at it from the side, you're like, boy, that's flat. Okay, so now we're using that carbide flame burr to give him his 1980s Ronald Reagan haircut. Okay. So he's going to have his hair combed to one side. And we will use this burr. We will push the forehead up underneath the hair. That's so you, you noticed uh, he had kind of a lurching forehead. It kind of was like pop forward. Jordy said it looked like his face is punched in um, because I knew I was going to put hair. So I wanted that kind of popped out there a little bit so I could come back and push the forehead back up under the hair. That's just my opinion on how I do it. Uh, you you can do it however you want to do it. Uh, whatever works for you best. I just figured, you know, if you leave extra wood, you're going to take it off sooner or later. So just leave it there until you get, like, hair. I wanted, to hit, I wanted this guy to have hair, so... Now we got the uh, diamond flame burr back into the game. And we're using that to uh, 
reduced mask from the cheeks. So we're narrowing it so that the jowls stick out a little bit more. Or that smile line, the fatty part there. Cringe line, whatever you want to call it. Working that neck back a little bit. Uh, along with the chin. We're working the chin down. Because your face is like a triangle, right? Hooked to a ball. <laughs> if you bring each side of your face straight out forward, it'll always come, it will come out to a point. Okay, so, and that's how I did these ears too when I, uh, doing the inside of the ear. Start out with a V, and that leaves a little ear flap, your whole ear hole flap sticking up, and then you can just go around it. So start with a V, and then that leaves your ear hole flap, so you can go ahead and cut your ear holes in, or the, the little ear hole cover, or what, I don't even know what it's called. You guys know what I'm talking about, or maybe you don't. I don't think I know what I'm talking about. Okay, so, um, rounding that cheek over, you can see we're giving them some cheekbones, by bringing the face inward behind that smile line, it's allowing us to bring the cheek bones out and the, the uh, jowls, lower parts of your cheeks in. And now we'll sand over that. Okay, so now we got our inverted cone burr cup. Cup burr. It's a cup but it's a cone. Um, we were using that for making eyes here in one of our videos. Works really well. But it also works if you stand it on its edge for cutting in hair. Uh, I've seen Matt over at Matt Carves using a uh, cut burr for doing some hair, and it looked like it worked really well. This is my first time using it for doing hair. It seems to be working very well. Um, get these on Amazon. I think I paid eight bucks for 10 of them, different sizes, which is neat. I, I need some of the bigger ones. These are the little, uh, three thirty second ones. I'd like to get some of the bigger ones and you can see we're cutting that, uh, hair in, taking it right down to the, right down to the forehead to give it like, so it breaks up that pattern. And then the side, we're swooshing that back. I could have uh, left some more wood and gave him a big old pompadour. So now we're going to brush him off. And it is... We're shaping that chin. And sorry, I'm using my left hand. It's pulling the cord over the face. That's why I don't use my left hand that much. Uh, making these videos because of where my power carver is it uh left handed drags the cord in the way okay so you can see we're working those making the little cheeks stick out the little cheekbones bringing that face narrowing that face up and making the cheekbones stick out and we're doing all that with that little diamond burr that little flame diamond burr yep We're sanding the, uh, I don't know, the smile line, yeah. Smile line. I guess we're going to call it the smile or cringe line, whatever you want to call it. Um, digging that in deep because we're going to run our upper lip right into that when we get to it. Put some crow's feet in the corners of his eyes. Okay, here we go. We're, we're putting the upper lip in. Keep a stiff upper lip, old chap. Keep a stiff upper lip. And now we're going to put in the uh, bottom lip. Man, I need a better camera angle so you guys can see this. Right there, the bottom lip is going in. We're going to push that right up into the corner and almost fade it down to nothing when it hits the uh, corner of the mouth. And that's easy to do with the... Uh, 
cringe lines, smile lines, whatever you want to call them, lines. And we got to put his snot trough in. And round that cheek, the chin over down at the bottom. Bring it up. And take the brass brush to him. Clean that dust off so we can see what the heck we're doing here. All right, we're going to put the eyes in. We'll be using the diamond comber for that. Please share, subscribe, and like. Be awesome. Carve something awesome. Carve every day if you can. Stay safe, and we will catch you guys on the next one. All right? All right. All right, Spike? All right. Making them a little bit bigger. And we're using the pencil to dot the eyes. All right. Bye-bye.